Hi there, it's Megan and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you about A-B testing in DFP. A-B testing, or split testing, is one of the surefire ways to help you earn more out of your ads. This will allow you to test if an ad unit is really earning or not. This will initially require you to perform a hypothesis about a particular ad that you want to test. For this tutorial, we will show you a simple procedure on how to go about this. Ready? Let's begin. We begin our how-to on setting up A-B testing within the My Ads page in our AdSense account. In this example, we are going to split test two different AdSense creative sizes. The first AdSense ad will be sized as a 300 by 250. The second AdSense ad will be sized as a 336 by 280. The results of this split test will help us decide which ad size performs best, thereby giving us actionable results we can implement right away. For our first ad unit, we will create a 300 by 250 creative. So let's do that now by clicking on the Create New Ad Unit. We must give the ad unit a name, choose the size as a 300 by 250, and click Save. For our second ad spot, we will create our second ad unit, the creative size as a 336 by 280. Let's create this second ad unit now by clicking on the Create New Ad Unit, select the size as 336 by 280, and give it a name. Now it's time to download the ad tag. With our AdSense ads created, we can now log in to DFP. Within DFP, navigate to the order containing the line item where we will be running our split test. Open the line item that targets the ad spot we are running the split test for and click on the Creatives tab. Within the Creatives tab, we must upload the AdSense generated tag for the creatives we just created. Please note that this tag includes the two creatives, the 300 by 250 our A creative, and the 336 by 280 our B creative. Navigate back to the Line Items Settings tab and scroll to Adjust Delivery. Under Adjust Delivery, find Rotate Creatives Selection. This is where we can choose how often each ad will run within the same placement. Because we want to see which of the two sizes performs the best, we want both ads to run their share of 50% of the time. Consequently, we will choose the option Evenly for our creative rotation. It's here that we will also specify the duration for our split test. In this example, we will run our split test for two weeks. Once the campaign runs its course, we can compare the results of our split test by running an ad tag report on AdSense. It goes without saying if one ad performs better than the other, then that's the ad we will want to keep. We'll likely run this ad at a creative rotation of 100%, depending on how well it's performing. And for the ad that didn't perform as well, we'll disable it in DFP so that it's pulled from the creative rotation. To disable the lower performing ad, we go back to the Creatives tab within the line item we tested and tick the box Deactivate for the creative that didn't perform as well. The sky is the limit when it comes to split testing. Instead of testing performance between two differently sized creatives, we can create A-B testing for text font, for example. To do so, again, we generate the ad unit on AdSense and set the ad format or ad type. We would circle back to DFP and follow the same steps we went through in this lesson, but instead of testing for ad size, we'd be testing the ad formats. Knowledge is power. This saying couldn't be more applicable when it comes to split testing ad units. You can split test creatives for a variety of variables. You may choose to test two creatives of different size like we did in this lesson. You may want to test two creatives, one with text only and the other with image only. Or you might want to set up an A-B test to compare the performance between two different calls to action. Whatever you test, we recommend to keep it simple and test one variable at a time. If you try testing two variables within one split test, it will be difficult to distinguish why one ad converted better than the other if there is more than one variable at play. Keeping the split test to one variable gives you more insight into what works and what doesn't. With this approach, you can optimize your ads effectively. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Stay tuned for more updates by subscribing to our blog and YouTube channel. Bye, and we hope to see you again soon.